Hey, it's May, and welcome to my channel. So today we're talking about this big girl right here in this cute pink bo um, bottle, not bottle, tub. tub. Let's go with tub here. Um, and this is Soap and Glories, The Righteous Butter, original pink, in rose and bergamot. I've never had Soap and Glory before, and I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. I need some more. This right here is amazing. It's rose and bergamot. And this is giving me Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Does anyone else get that? No one else gets the vibe of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle? There's something about this. I mean, it's probably the bergamot. It, it smells so, 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 so similar to me. And so in um, in here, you do have bergamot and you do have a rose uh, in this particular fragrance. And it is so amazingly close. It's This is something that if you want, I mean, I don't think anyone really has projection or longevity issues with Coco Mademoiselle but just to give you that extra oomph, drum, 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 you just go ahead that is so wild how this guys and it's so hydrating it's so it, I just feel so I really didn't need all of that <laughs> and I didn't even, like it's super hydrating and I am dry Keisha, okay, in the winter time. And then you just go ahead. And you spray. Guys, it's really, really close. It's really, really close. And if you really want to be doing the ut, ut, utmost, okay, and you just really want it to stick, um... Oil Perfumery, I don't have it, although I do plan on getting it. Oil Perfumery has a version, I believe, of Coco Mademoiselle or one of the perfume. I feel like Oil Perfumery is it, but I've been looking at a bunch of different dupe brands, um, oil dupe brands, and so on and so forth. You get this, you get um, a oil version of Coco Mademoiselle, and you get the spray. And honestly, people will smell you forever. People are going to smell you. People are going to smell you forever and ever and ever and ever. Listen, guys, this is such a timeless type of scent. Such a big girl grown type of scent. I mean, you could also go in, I believe, with like an orangey type of um, lotion as well. But I really believe the rose and the bergamot really shine through in this particular fragrance. I mean, there's mimosa in the fragrance too, but the bergamot also gives me that bubbly type of quality. And just slay it. Just slay it. I honestly am so shook that this smells so similar. And it's honestly, it, it was like, I don't know. It was like eight, nine dollars for 10.1 fluid ounces. Absolutely. Absolutely. This right here. Is a check, check, and check for me. Check, check, and check for me. This is a... I'm not going to sit here and be like, it smells exactly like Coco Mademoiselle, okay? I really don't think anything smells exactly, exactly like Coco Mademoiselle. But it is a very close, very, very, very close lotion version. And it's going to mix so well. Mix so well together. All right. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. I have nothing else to say. Absolutely nothing. Okay, that's it. Let me know if you guys have tried this before. Did you catch that vibe as well? Because when I was looking for Soap and Glory, they're like really old videos. And then I was out looking for the righteous bot, the righteous body butter. I was having more issues. So maybe someone out there has mentioned this, but I have not found it. And when I first smelt it in the store, that was immediately. 
what I got immediately. So let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, let's have a conversation about it. And thank you so much for staying for this whole video. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> bye bye.